So what do you do when, not if, pieces start falling apart inside your RV? This is what we're doing today is we're reattaching this piece that fell off. We also are going to repair this. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And sometimes you need tools to live amazing. <laughs> That's right. So we have been on the road as full-time RVers for two years. We've been in our current rig for a year. Exactly a year. And uh, things fall apart. And that's just a fact of RV life. The big one was what? This thing, the, <laughs> the, the island. <laughs> the island looked like the Titanic because one end collapsed. So we needed special tools for that. And then a, a few other things were basically window valance trim. Yeah, we've had a few of those fall off. We only have less than 5,000 miles on our camper, but every time we move it, it goes through an earthquake. So who needs these tools? If everyone is out there with an RV, who needs these tools? Everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're part-time, you can leave them at home, but you should have them in your garage, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> but if you're traveling full-time, you absolutely should have these on hand, unless you want to call somebody out to fix it for you. I don't want to imply that these things are built cheaply, even though they kind of are. They're stapled together. They're stapled together, but a good, one of the big reasons that they are, they're doing this type of construction now is to, to keep weight down. Anything that's going to have interior trim pieces, you're going to want a pin nailer. Now, a pin nailer is different than a brad nailer, and I'll show you the difference of what it shoots. Um, it shoots 23 gauge pins, basically. They're tiny little pins. And it, this is what you use to attach trim, and we'll do that a little bit later in the video. Uh, just a bunch of them in a row here, stuck together. This is the brad nailer. See, they look very much alike. So the brad nailer, the one I got, shoots staples, and, and that's something if you don't haven't bought one yet, you want to make sure that it shoots both staples and brads or tiny nails, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is an 18 gauge by inch and a half. One inch would probably be better for, for most of what I do here, but this is what I had in my toolbox outside. And uh, what you would use the, the, uh, this tool for would be more structural work. Whereas the pin nailer you're gonna to use to attach trim pieces like these pieces right here. A wonder bar, this is a good tool to have with you. This is for prying off pieces that you want to take off without damaging them. Like this. This is what we're doing today is we're reattaching this piece that fell off. Now to do that, I have to take this piece out of my way because I can't get the pin nailer in there to, to nail it. We also are going to repair this because it's falling off. But to be able to get in there to nail it, this has to be taken out of the way. Now one thing you want to be aware of when you take off any trim piece is that the, the pins or the brad nails are going to either be in the piece you took off or it's going to leave one behind in, in the piece that you took it off from. Let's see one left behind. There's one right there that's left behind. And the way you get it out, you put a pair of pliers in there and you pull it. Get down as tight as you can and then just move it forward and it'll rock it out. That one pretty much came out. That one, yeah, with pin nails. You almost don't need a, pr a pry tool, but the next step is you need a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to see. Oh, so there's screws down in here. Yeah, there's screws inside. The screws right in on. here. The good news is they're just going into whatever these walls are made out of, fiberboard. They're out. See the gap here? It's, yeah. It's how, this is coming loose from this. So you want to make sure that your brad is long enough to go in deep enough into the anchoring piece. You can see it's going in probably three quarters of an inch. There's yeah. something else that you want to do with your with your tools is you want to make sure you oil them 
if you're going to have air tools, you're going to need a small air compressor. I found this one at Harbor Freight, or as I call it, the mothership. What I like about it is, one, it goes up to 135 PSI, so I can use it to air up the tires on this, which require 110 PSI. Just as important is the sound. This thing is super quiet. I mean, if you're familiar with air compressors, then you know that if this, if it, if it were a normal air compressor, you wouldn't be hearing me talking to you right now. It would be drowned out by the, by the sound of the uh, air compressor. So as soon as it tops off, we're going to nail the, this, this trim piece together. It even feels tighter when I pick it up. It doesn't, these things don't flop around anymore. Yeah. So then you just take a marker or yeah, wood I mean, pen and wood, just... Wood putty or something if you, I mean, that's, yeah. Let's fix what we came, or we went in here to fix. So I've switched to the pin nailer now. No, it's not even coming off. I just pulled on it pretty hard and it didn't move. It makes nice little marks that you can hardly see. Yeah. When you're going back in, screw the, the, the screw in just slightly so the tip is coming through. Because you're going to try and you're going to be lining it up to a hole that you can't see. Start the screw in the hole. you're doing it this way what a neat trick the pin nails all go along here to hold the trim but then another nail goes up in that corner to stop it from flexing one inch is as big as you can get oh that one got that it. that one did it that one got it okay now what I said about the pry bar with pin nails you don't really need them, need it. Cause you can just yank on it, it comes right off. Wow. One, two, three. What? Whatever it was, it wasn't sufficient. Oh, it's a staple, yeah. And then you load it just like that. things have fallen apart on your campers let us know in the comments and we will see you in the next video see you next time